Welcome back for my final daily report market analysis video for me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech on Monday, the 12th of October. Looking at this gold chart, and we've seen a decisive move um, to the upside, actually positive strength through Friday's session. Thursday, fr Wednesday, Thursday, Friday actually started to find a, a little bit of strength in a really strong close as the dollar weakened on Friday. Um, the perception that Biden could well be sort of moving towards being the president. Um, given the fact that uh, we could also see a blue wave running through um, Congress as well, that would be considered to be risk positive, market positive, dollar negative, um, considering the amount of fiscal stimulus that would induce um, by the Democrats. So subsequently, we've seen that the dollar, um, as the polls have suggested Biden's victory is potentially coming now, um, the dollar really did weaken on Friday and uh, an upside break on gold. And the move that broke the downtrend, uh, downtrend that's been in place for the past two months has now been broken. We're now sort of solidifying this uptrend again, the six month uptrend, breaking above 19, well, the resistance was 1920 from uh, last week, that decisively broke to the upside. And uh, breaking also through the 1902 to 1926 resistance area that we've been sort of seeing as an old floor, August to September sort of trying to break through that as well. The only real sort of thing holding it back now, I think, is maybe the 55-day moving average. You can argue that has been a, a basis of support pretty much since April. And then that having broken that to the downside, that support turns into resistance. So, again, you'd need to see the market above that to really suggest that the bulls are sort of ga gathering control once more. RSI ideally needs to be above 60 as well, I think, to sort of break this run of lower highs effectively. Um, despite that, having said that, we've got the MACD lines, which have ball crossed higher, the stochastics, which are accelerating higher. So th this is a, a growing positive outlook, although not yet decisively so, certainly given the fact that markets just pulled back slightly this morning. You'd want to see 1920, this is the hourly chart, 1920 uh, holding that as a basis of support. Uh, you'd want to see that maintained now. And you could also argue there's a little basis of a pivot around that sort of 1911, 1912 mark. But uh, as I said, 1902, if you continue to see gold trading and closing above that, I think that sustains a more positive outlook. And you can start to think about 1970, 1974, and possibly even 1991 which was this uh, late August lower reaction high. So subsequently, we look to buy gold into weakness as long as that support around 1902 holds. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Go to our website, sign up for our webinars and click to watch Trader Talks, our videos that give you top trading ideas.